demonstrations are growing worldwide and here in the U.S. for a woman killed in police custody in Iran. The 22 year old woman was arrested for allegedly wearing her headscarf too loosely. Dozens of people have been killed in Iran during protests. Natalie Brand has more. The death toll of demonstrators killed in protests in Iran is growing as unrest spreads over the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, arrested for violating the country's strict dress code for women. She was tortured in the van after her arrest and then tortured at the police station for half an hour, Masha's cousin told CBS News. Amini was taken into custody two weeks ago, accused of wearing her hijab headscarf too loosely. Her cousin says the protesters want regime change in Iran in order to live freely. But the country is cracking down, arresting more than 1,200 people. President Ibrahim Raisi warns protesters will be dealt with, quote, decisively. The Biden administration is imposing sanctions on Iran's morality police and is taking steps to support Internet freedom as the Iranian government imposes online shutdowns. Iran must end its use of violence against women for exercising their fundamental freedoms. Uh, there must be accountability for Masa's death. Demonstrations in support of Amini and the Iranian people are spreading internationally and from coast to coast here in the U.S. They are really hopeless and they have no help. Faced with increasing criticism, Tehran is accusing the United States of using the unrest to try to destabilize its country. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. And Canada is the latest country to announce new sanctions against Iran over its human rights positions and the handling of protests in the country.